Welcome to this video. Proof the Amerindians are ancestors of all humans not recognized. Consensus denies scientific fundamentals, including the most important ancestral and migrational markers, that prove the Amerindians are ancestors of all humans. Since the 16th century, Spanish, Portuguese and most scientists of that time claimed that Amerindians came from outside the Americas, Africa, and entered the Americas through Beringia. There certainly was no scientific evidence for this at all at that time, and even today there is no scientific evidence for this, even today there are only hypotheses that render some of the strongest paradigms of the field, but that nevertheless still are recognized and verified by consensus. All later supposed evidence was proven to in fact be evidence against this Beringia and consensus main hypothesis, that all modern humans descend from Africans or Homo sapiens, and to put it mildly rendered even more paradigms for the above-mentioned consensus hypotheses. By consensus supposed evidence is proven wrong. Some of the by consensus supposed evidence, including some of the latest consensus evidence, that still reigns consensus, is proven wrong based on fundamentals. 1. The supposed out-of-African ancestors, or at least the following supposed modern humans, Homo sapiens, have larger skulls and brains than all humans before and therefore are considered modern humans. It is now proven that the supposed modern humans have smaller skulls and brains when compared with several non-modern humans, species or groups. As an example, the most recent modern humans like YDNA haplogroup R, that dominates Europe and Western Eurasia, have smaller brains when compared to most or at least certain Amerindians and when compared to the best well-known extinct sister groups or other species of the supposed modern humans, Neanderthal, Denisovan, Homo erectus. 2. The mtDNA claimed to be proof of mitochondrial Eve, African ancestors and the supposed ancestors of all modern humans, Homo sapiens, was carried by Neanderthals long before, over 100,000 years before the hypothesized mitochondrial Eve even came into its hypothesized existence. Association between ancestrality markers like PV92 and certain recognized and verified human expansions. There is a clear and significant association between the frequency of the important ancestrality and migrational marker PV92 and the Austronesian expansion. The Austronesian expansion took place roughly 70 to 80,000 years ago. The PV92 marker is possibly the most important marker for ancestrality and migration, and it is proven to spread from the highest frequencies in the ancestors, because of the association these were the peoples that were part of the Austronesian expansion, to lower frequencies in its descendants. The highest frequencies of the world of this PV92 marker are found in certain Amazon Amarins and next in the nearest Austronesian expansion area. This PV92 marker further confirms what the most important scientific fundamentals already have proven since long ago, decades before. This PV92 marker also confirms 1. That the Amerindians are the ancestors of the Austronesian expansion, that involves all continents. 2. The Austronesian expansion took place at least roughly 70 to 80,000 years ago. This is an indirect but fundamental proof that there were Amerindians 70 to 80,000 years ago that they are the ancestors of the oldest recognized human expansion to all continents, including Africa. I call the Austronesian expansion the oldest recognized expansion, because it is older than the by consensus hypothesized out of Africa expansion, and as far as I know, the Neanderthals, the Denisovans, the Homo erectus expansions are not really recognized as expansions, which I think they are, and I give at least some preliminary evidence they are. The oldest verified human fossils in Africa are Austronesian, not African. These Austronesian fossils, also the ones found in Africa, are obviously Austronesian and are older than any verified non-Austronesian fossils in Africa. Mitochondrial Eve nor and its associated Y-DNA A and B groups were ever found as fossils and obviously only hypothesized to have been African. Just as a reminder, there was never any proof that Mitochondrial Eve was African, nor that its associated Y-DNA A and B groups were African. That mitochondrial Eve should have been African is, and always was, a hypothesis, this so right from the start, never ever DNA or a fossil of mitochondrial Eve was found, nor of its associated Y-DNA A and B groups. That mitochondrial Eve should have been African is only based on the fact that certain Africans carry it today. But it was proven that Africa was affected by the Austronesian expansion and to a lesser extent by the still older Neanderthal expansion, amongst others as haplotype B006 that is a descendant from the ancestor of all humans which is proven to be an Amerindian ancestor and out of Americas. In fact there is only evidence that mitochondrial Eve is not African, amongst other proofs is. 1. The fact that Neanderthals carried mitochondrial DNA long before mitochondrial Eve. 2. The fact that there is no significant amount of Neanderthal DNA in Sub-Saharan Africa. 
1 and 2 are quite significant facts and present a serious paradigm for consensus. Although this has been known for years, consensus never commented on this essential new information, that mitochondrial Eve DNA was carried by Neanderthals long before it was carried by any African. The general public and even scientists seem to be unaware, or are not touching or not commenting at all on the scientific evidence and proofs of the above-mentioned new information. I illustrate and proof, based on science. 1. We learned a fundamental proof that the oldest verified human expansion expanded out of America and from Amerindian DNA roughly 70 to 80,000 years ago. That is roughly more than 63,000 years before the by consensus supposed out of Beringia expansion. 2. We learned a fundamental proof that the Neanderthal human expansion expanded out of America and from Amerindian DNA even before the 70 to 80,000 years ago Austronesian expansion. It is scientifically and genetically proven that Neanderthals carried mitochondrial Eve mtDNA long before the hypothesized mitochondrial, African, ever came to exist. Science proved and consensus verified that mitochondrial Eve mtDNA is the origin of all humans, I do not agree, but I remember what consensus did recognize and verified. Based on what consensus recognized and verified, the Neanderthal, I call it the Neanderthal and Denisovan sister group or species expansion, carried mitochondrial Eve mtDNA at least 200,000 years ago. There is also evidence that the Neanderthal were not the ancestors of the mitochondrial Eve mtDNA they carried, but supposed but not identified modern humans were. This further proves that at least 200,000 years ago proven mitochondrial Eve DNA was present in the Americas, because the roots of the Neanderthals are in the Americas. Here I remember that the fundamentals prove that all humans come from the Americas. Together all the scientific evidence clearly proves that at least 200,000 years ago proven mitochondrial Eve DNA was present in the Americas and that its origin, roots and cradles, lie in the Americas, more specifically in the Amazon basin. Human expansions older than out of Africa with Amazon Amarins as the proven ancestors. Two of the oldest human expansions, Neanderthal and Austronesian expansions, are much older than any out of Africa expansion and or any out of Beringia expansion, supposedly into the Americas, and are proven to be out of the Americas, expansion, with Amazon Amerindians, DNA, as the proven ancestors of these expansions. Austronesian expansion. Amongst others the Australian aboriginals are clearly descendants of the Austronesian expansion. The Austronesian expansion clearly involves currents and boats, or rather fleets, which are all needed to explain why places much further from Africa and against currents and winds than Australia, like Hawaii and Easter Islands, Polynesia, were populated with descendants of Amerindians, DNA. Mitochondrial Eve mtDNA expansion or Neanderthal expansion. After the initial and oldest, Amerindian expansion, not to confuse with the by consensus hypothesized out of Africa expansion, mitochondrial Eve mtDNA expansion, came also the, later, Neanderthal expansion that took place, long, before out of Africa, roughly 50, 80, or 100,000 years ago. As shown this is also genetically proven, but consensus denies to verify and denies to inform the general public and, possibly because of denial, by consensus, unaware scientists. The Austronesian expansion, the oldest by consensus as expansion verified human expansion, expanded out of America and from Amerindian DNA roughly and minimally 70 to 80,000 years ago. Consensus totally depends on two assumptions that are amongst the most paradigmatic ones in the field. Consensus depends on 1. The assumption that Eurasians, that cannot be the ancestors of the Amerindians, evolved in an unprecedented, biologically improbable and extreme paradigmatic short significant evolution while trapped in or around a lethal Beringia, and still thriving. This absolutely makes no sense, because quite on the contrary certain Amerindians are the proven ancestors of these supposed Eurasian ancestors, ancient Northeast Eurasians. 2. The assumption that, in order to make out of Africans, descendants of the supposed mitochondrial Eve, eligible to be the ancestors of all humans, that the DNA present in all modern humans, except in sub-Saharan Africans, is the result of interbreeding between out of Africans, Homo sapiens, and Neanderthals. There are many proofs that prove this is not the case or even impossible. Observation. To avoid complicating this video, I only present the most simple proof that the, wrongly, supposed Neanderthal fraction in our DNA does not descend from interbreeding between out-of-Africans and Neanderthals, that obviously carry Neanderthal DNA, or not from Neanderthals altogether. End of observation. 1. The first African haplotypes appear, long, after the Neanderthal haplotype, B006, had their root and came out of the Americas expanding to the rest of the world, possibly 430,000 or more years ago. 2. The Y-DNA haplogroup R comes from, descends from, had its root, is Amerindian, in the Americas after the Neanderthal was already extinct, in Europe the Neanderthal were extinct by Cro-Magnon that never did carry Neanderthal DNA, 
as later modern humans did and do, never successfully interbred with Neanderthal. It could be almost ironic that Cro-Magnons, and perhaps Clovis, which are recognized and verified as morphologically modern humans, and that in retrospect could be the most exceptional human cave artists, are most probably not considered or recognized by consensus as full modern humans, exactly because they do not carry Neanderthal DNA, like all modern humans, wrongly, supposedly do. 2. Cro-Magnon were extinct by, overturned by, or absorbed, no evidence of this, by Y-DNA haplogroup R. In the case of Y-DNA haplogroup R1b, Cro-Magnon were extinct roughly 8,400 years before this Y-DNA haplogroup R1b, that appeared out of the Americas, their proven roots, cradle, etc. In other words, and for simplicity I limit to the case of Europe and Western Eurasia, in between Neanderthal and modern humans like Y-DNA haplogroup R1b, the Neanderthals are extinct in two steps. 1. In a first step by the Cro-Magnon. 2. In a next step the Cro-Magnon were extinct by all haplogroups that appeared after the Cro-Magnon but still before the Y-DNA haplogroup R1b. They all, Cro-Magnon, all haplogroups that appeared after the Cro-Magnon but still before Y-DNA haplogroup R1b, appeared out of the Americas, directly or indirectly. 1. Through the North Atlantic current and expanded and prolonged Austronesian expansion, that extinct the Cro-Magnon. Genetic evidence suggests Neanderthals and early humans did not interbred. Cro-Magnons conquered Europe, but left Neanderthals alone, PMC, NIH.gov. Among many others and even stronger evidences, consensus and scientists alike do not recognize mounting genetic evidence, based on mitochondrial DNA extracted from fossils, that suggests Neanderthals and early humans did not interbred. It is almost ironic that exactly that same mitochondrial DNA was the only, wrongly held standing by consensus, evidence that consensus, wrongly, held on to support its main hypothesis, turned into one of the strongest proofs against the same main consensus hypothesis. Asterisk this ever since miners unearthed a skull and bones in a Neander Valley cave in Germany in 1856, three years before the publication of On the Origin of Species. This at least until it recently was proven that the DNA that served as the only proof for consensus main hypothesis is in fact a proof that exactly that DNA was carried by Neanderthal and before the Neanderthals by modern humans not from Africa even before the Neanderthals. This turned a supposed proof supposedly in favor of consensus main hypothesis into one of the strongest proofs against the consensus main hypothesis. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video.